heard a little tingle, a little tiny. I was about to tell you how they weren't spicy at all. Hey, welcome to this Wednesday type of chili shun where we got a spicy snack. Um, this was sent by Emily, actually, as part of a massive international gift box of snacks uh, that I'll be pulling a couple other things from also over the next couple weeks. But yeah, these are from Spain, and this is like spicy gummy mangoes. And I freaking love mangoes and I love gummy things, especially the kind of fluffy gummy thing that this looks to be. And uh, this is a channel where we do spicy stuff. I don't know if you knew. So we're going to dive into the snack. And so this is like very much uh, in the vein of like Haribo gummy bears and stuff. Just the, the hanging bag of gummy things is like well established in Earth as a trope. And this is like a pretty nice looking snack. Look at that. Big chunky mango pieces. Uh, big bold print to let you know what you're getting into. And I, I don't, I'm not going to read the ingredients of candy. Um, you're going to find it depressing because it's just a bunch of chemicals because it's candy. So we're just accepting that as given, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and just dive into the snack. Ooh, dude, as soon as I open the bag, I get like a, like a legit rush of like gummy mango smell. And it smells like mangoes, but it also smells like fake candy, which I'm, 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 I'm I'm into it. That's a really satisfying smell of like a candy shop. And if you look at the snack itself, it's like a little, a little piece of foie gras. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It's a little mini gummy foie gras, which by the way, if that exists, I need to review it, even if it's not spicy. But yeah, it's just, it's just a little gummy turd. It's kind of the fluffy type, like the bun from a SpongeBob Krabby Patty rather than the meat. And uh, that's kind of my favorite. I like the foamy, fluffy gummies like this. Uh, cheers, YouTube. Mmm. 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 Okay. So, uh, it's really good. It's not actually very sweet. Like, it's pretty subtle for a gummy candy. Pretty subtle on the sweetness. And the mango flavor isn't, like, super artificial tasting. Like, it's artificial, but it, it doesn't, like, uh, there's a little tingle, a little tiny. I was about to tell you how they weren't spicy at all, but there's just a little tiniest little, little pitter-patter on my tongue of, like, little bitty spice monsters. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I could get behind that. So it's a really nice, refreshing gummy candy that's kind of fluffy. It's got a nice texture. It's a nice mango taste. It tastes a bit fake, but like not in an offensive way. Like I'm cool with fake flavors sometimes. Except banana. Fake banana is gross. Um, yeah, it's it's like, and then like way after you're done eating it, you get like a little across your tongue of spice. And that's pretty much it. Like it's very, very, very mild. I'll put it at like sub one, like a half maybe. Maybe, maybe a one if you ate enough of them. Mmm. freaking good though yeah so um spaniard snacks in the wind column that's really good i really like it i guess this has a great taste it's not offensive it's not super sweet it's not super sour it just kind of soothes your your tongue a little bit and it's real fluffy and mushy and it's not like chewy 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 gummy it's like very soothing all throughout and even the burn is kind of soothing this is the kind of snack that I think actually would get better if you put it in the fridge. I don't know why, but I think that this cold would be an even more like soothing summer experience, like on a hot day. That sounds really good. And the spices is, is like just the cutest thing ever. It's just like a little, like a little, the tiniest little breath of the smallest dragon in the universe. And it has a nice smell. Damn. All right. So, uh, Emily, A, thank you for sending the box of stuff. Appreciate it. And uh, B, if you happen to see Vidal Spicy Gummy Mangoes, I highly recommend you pick this up. Like if you're looking for like a spicy, spicy snack, it's not going to do it for you. It's not very spicy, but it tastes awesome. And it does have a little, a little kick. And that'll be just enough of a kick where you don't have to share it with most people because most people see spice and they're like, eh, I don't think so. And so uh, you don't have to tell them it's not very spicy. <laughs> you can just keep it. Um, but yeah, if you're into like uh, fruity candy, this is like right up, this, you got to give this one a try. It's super good. Um, I will endeavor to find a place where you can buy this online and I'll put a link in the description if I can do so. Uh, so check there. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. We do hot and spicy reviews of various kinds off into the future. And uh, we got one coming up on Friday, which is sort of a review. It's, it's, a, 
an unboxing of this cool pack of stuff that Emily sent that's spicy in nature, uh, which will be exciting to dive into. Uh, so click subscribe and click the bell. You'll be notified when that video posts. And click like if you enjoyed uh, this exploration of a spicy gummy candy for you. Um, yeah, hope you have a great Wednesday night. I hope that evening is good to you and you're able to rest and relax in whatever method you would prefer. And I uh, hope the rest of the work week is nice. And I will catch you right at the end of it at 5 o'clock on Friday with yet more uh, explorations of the spicy universe. Thanks for watching Chili Time.